Here is a man who was born in an obscure village. The child of a peasant woman. He grew up in still another village where he worked in a carpenter's shop until he was 30. Then for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never wrote a book, never held an office, never had a family or owned a home. He never went to college, never put his foot inside a big city. He never traveled 200 miles from the place where he was born. He never did one of the things that usually accompanies greatness. He had no credentials but himself. While he was still a young man, the tide of popular opinion turned against him. His friends ran away, but one of them denied him. He was turned over to his enemies, he went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. His executioners gambled for the only property he had on earth. That was his coat. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Twenty centuries have come and gone. And today, he is the central figure of the human race. All the armies that have ever marched, all the navies that have ever sailed, all the parliaments that have ever ruled, all the kings that have ever reigned, put together, have not affected the life of man upon this earth as powerfully as this one solitary life.